Hello, this tutorial is going to go over the Google Apps for Education calendar and how to access the calendar, how to create an individual event, how to send an invite, how to find or add a shared calendar, and your individual sharing settings for your calendar. So here we are in Google Chrome, which can be found here down on the dock. Notice that we are in Chrome because it does work best for our Google Suite. When I'm in Chrome, I can see this little trapezoid here next to the tab. When I add another tab by clicking on that, it brings me to a Google search. And I can click right up here to the Waffle or Rubik's Cube, which is a menu for all our Google apps. And here I can see Gmail, Calendar, uh, YouTube, and Drive. I'm going to go to Calendar here. And I'm not signed in, so it will prompt me to put in my sign-in email. and my regular network password. So here I am in calendar and you can see uh, at the top here it's going to ask me if I ever want to save my password. I never want to save my password and it's going to want to show me notifications. I'm going to click allow for this. So here I am in Google Calendar. I can tell that I am signed in here by here's my little avatar you'll see that this is my month view. I can change that by going to up here on the top where it says month and I can change to see just for today's or even the week's events. I do like to see the month's events because it does give me a, a small summary of the events that I have going on that day. Over here is a whole month to see if you want to look at individual days. Or we can go back to the month view. On the left side I have my calendars and you'll notice it has my top calendar which is the default for my Google account and then below there are my different Google Classroom calendars that are automatically viewed. To create an event in my calendar, I'm going to go down to the little plus sign up he down here. And this will give me my options to put a title in for my event. I can put the date of my event, the time, when it starts, when it ends, or I can put that it's all day. I can set a location here if I'd like, set my notifications. And here I can say whether I am busy or free. And that can, if I share this calendar with someone, they'll be able to tell if uh, that in the description. When I save the event for April 30th, I'll see, oh, April 30th is here, test event. If I would like to invite someone to that event, I can click right on it and go into the pencil. This will bring me into my editing options again. Over here to the right, I can add guests. So I would, I like to add in a person's last name to help them find in my directory, or I can put in, a, in anyone's email into there. So now, Casey Cohen is invited. Here are the options for invited guests. They can see others who were invited, or be able to invite others. If I want, I can allow Casey to modify the event and click Save. And this is seeing if I would like to send an email to invite the guests. Not right now. One of the great options about Google Calendars is the ability to share your calendar. To share your personal calendar, you can click on the little three dots when you hover over your calendar and go to settings and sharing. Here you can change some of the options for your calendar, add a description, and now I can make my calendar available to the public. If I don't want to do that, I can uncheck that 
then I can make it available to Roaster Media School District. Here are the options for what people can see. If I would like them to be able to see my entire calendar, I can see all, leave it as see all the events, details, or I can only show free and busy. That way they won't, anyone who has the ability to see my shared calendar will see that I'm free or busy, but will not see the details of the event. One very cool thing is if I do make my calendar public, I can then scroll down here, other options, and I can add this calendar to my website or send in an email so other people have access to my calendar. So here I am in the share settings for my calendar, and if it, it is public or at least available to Roastery Media School District, you can see that it does save down there. If I go back, here it is. Now if I want to search for a coworker or a public calendar that's made on a Google account, I can search for that person here, and now I will see that their calendar, and this is Casey Cohen's, is down below in my other calendars. And you'll see here when I change the color, change that to a deep red, you can see this and this are Casey's events.